Welcome! This video will show you how you can add an observation to the database. First of all, make sure you are signed in. Enter your username and password and click the login button. Your name will appear on the upper side of the screen. This means that you are signed in. You can now start with adding observations. Go to the menu Add and choose New Sighting. What you see here is the form for adding new observations. It consists of several parts. In fact, you are answering four questions when you are adding an observation. When did I do an observation? Where did I do an observation? What did I observe? And are there details which I would like to add to the observation? This instruction video will guide you step by step through the form. We will use two examples. First of all, a very simple observation. We will only fill in the required fields. Thereafter, we will add a more complex observation. We will record many details and we will also use the optional fields. Example 1. We would like to add an observation of two red-throated divers, which we have seen on 24 March 2011 in the bay near Harwich in the United Kingdom. Let's start by selecting the right date. We can do so by using the calendar, but we can also type the right date. Now it is time to find the location where we did the observation. We start typing in the right field. Some area names will appear. We select the right one by clicking it with the mouse. The map automatically jumps to the selected area. All we have to do now is indicating the exact location of our observation by clicking on the map. If necessary, we can zoom in and out by using the plus and minus on the map. But we can do the same thing by using the scroll button of our mouse. To track the map, we click and hold the left mouse button and move in the desired direction. Now it is time to select the right species name. The species group is already set at birds, so we can directly start typing in the appropriate field. We select the right species name by clicking it. We still have to raise the number of observed individuals to 2. The default number is 1, so we click in the field and change the number. In order to save the observation, we click the OK button. We are now finished with adding an observation to the database. It is as simple as that. You can leave the web page or you can directly continue with adding more observations. You have seen how easy it is to enter an observation. You only have to fill in a date, location, species and number. All the other fields are optional. If you have seen enough, you can close this video. Try to add an observation yourself. If you would like to see an example in which we enter a very detailed observation, stay tuned. Example 2. We have seen 10 caterpillars of the large copper butterfly at its host plant, the Water Dock, on 19 July 2010 in the Regent's Park in London in the United Kingdom. We would like to record many details. We also would like to hide details of this observation for other persons, because the caterpillars are in a vulnerable situation at this location. We will add this fictional observation to the database, guiding you step by step. At first, we indicate which protocol applies to our observation. In this example, we choose casual record, because we did not survey the whole area. Now we add a date. Again, we can use the calendar, but we may also type the date. We also add the time of our observation. You have just seen how you can find the location of an observation. We start typing in the appropriate field and we select the area name from the list. We look up the exact location of our observation on the map. If desired, 
we can switch between satellite images and normal maps. We can zoom in and out by using the plus and minus on the map or by using the scroll button of our mouse. The map can be tracked by clicking and holding the left mouse button while moving in the desired direction. We can indicate the precision of our observation location below the map. If it is very precise, we choose 10 meters. If it is a reasonable estimation, we choose 100 meters, and so on. Now we are going to select the right species name. In the species group menu, we choose butterflies. The species list and other lists belonging to the species group will be loaded. By now you are probably familiar with selecting a species name. We start with typing in the right field and we select the name by clicking it. Afterwards we enter the number of observed individuals. We have the opportunity to give details about the gender. Did we observe males or females? In this specific example we observed caterpillars, so we leave the gender at unknown. The option certain can be used as an indicator of the certainty of identification. Did we see large copper with 100% certainty? In this example we are 100% certain. If you ever would like to enter an observation in which you are not certain about the right identification, you may uncheck this box by clicking it. The box escape works in the same way. If you see an escaped animal, or if you see an exotic, adventive or planted plant species, you can check this box by clicking it. We can now continue with giving details about the plumage or life stage. In this example, we choose caterpillar. It depends on the species group, which you selected earlier, which options you can choose from. If you observed behavior, we might indicate it in this field. It depends on the species group, which you selected earlier, which options you can choose from. The Remember Appearance and Behavior tool might be handy when you are entering multiple observations where the same life states and behavior apply. For example, when you are carrying out a bird migration count, where all the birds are flying to the south. Check this box by clicking it if you would like the system to remember the life states and behavior, so you do not have to set it for every single observation. Let's continue with selecting a host plant species. This field works in the same way as the fields where we entered the location and the species name. We start with typing and we select the right species name by clicking it. If you would like to enter an observation where a host plant is not applicable, you may leave this field blank. We can also select the weather circumstances of our observation. Furthermore, we can add some remarks to the observation, a description of the observed organisms, something special we noticed, or just a short note. Sometimes it might be necessary that observation details are not visible for everyone, in case of vulnerable species and vulnerable circumstances for instance. Two possibilities are provided to hide observation details. You may choose to set an embargo date. The details of the observation will be hidden until the mentioned date. Setting an embargo date works in the same way as setting an observation date. You can either select it from the calendar or type it. You can also blur the location of the observation. No exact location details will be shown in the observation details. You can activate this option by checking the box. We click the OK button to save the observation. At the lower side of the screen a list appears with observations which we entered. It allows us to edit an observation to add a photo or a sound recording, or a group composition. How to do this will be explained in a following example. We are finished with entering the more complex observation. We can now leave the web page or continue with adding more observations. Please remember that this was an example in which all possible fields were used. 
Only date, location, species and number are required fields. All the others are optional. By now you have seen two examples of entering an observation. If you have learned enough, you can close this video. Try to add an observation yourself. The best way of learning is by trying it. If you would like to see an explanation of adding a photo or a sound recording to an observation, or how to add a group composition, stay tuned. Have a look below the form. You see the list of observations which we just added. Choose Add Photo. A new screen will pop up. First, read the conditions for uploading pictures. Choose Browse to search and select the photo on your computer. Check if the mentioned data is correct. You may, you may indicate the gender of the photographed organism. You can also indicate a plummet or life stage. Furthermore, you may write some remarks or explanation of the photo. Did you fill in the required fields? Click the Upload button. The photo will now appear at your observation. Click X or click outside the upload screen in order to close the upload screen. Now we show you how to add a sound recording to your observation. Again, go to the list of the observations that we already added. Choose Add Sound. A new screen will pop up. Read the conditions for uploading a sound. Choose Browse to search and select the sound file on your computer. Check if the mentioned data is correct. You may indicate the sound type that you recorded. Furthermore, you can add a description or some notes in the field Notes. Did you fill in the required fields? Click the Upload button. The sound recording will now appear at your observation. Click the X or click outside the upload screen in order to leave the upload screen. Finally, we show you how to add a group composition to your observation. Go to the list of already entered observations. Choose Group Composition. A new screen will pop up. Fill in the number of individuals and the gender, life states or plumage and behavior belonging to this group. Click the plus to add the line to the observation. You can now add a new line. In this example we will add one alarming adult red-throated diver in summer plumage and one foraging adult red-throated diver in winter plumage. We do not enter a gender. You can enter a group composition in any possible combination, as long as the amount of individuals sum up to the total number of observed individuals. When you are ready, you can click the X or outside the group composition screen to close it. You have seen how the screen for entering new observation works. Now you can try it yourself. Close this video and add an observation. If you encounter any problem when adding an observation, consider to watch this video again. Of course, you can always send us an email for help. Info at waarneming.nl Good luck!